we've just made it to Latvia and we're in our like little Airbnb which is really nice it's really like compact perfect for like a few days but they've like kitted it out really really nicely um and I'm just gonna do my makeup and then get ready and we're gonna plan what we're gonna do but we're gonna go out to have some food first and then dress see where the day takes us a girl on Instagram sent me some like amazing recommendations which was unbelievably kind so we're gonna look through those and see what kind of things we want to do out of them but I can't wait to take you along I'm really really excited and I hope you enjoy this little vlog <laughs> we're just walking from our Airbnb to the place for like breakfast or lunch but it's two hours ahead here so it's half past two and we're just taking a photo cute little outfit um this is one of the places that one of you guys recommended called I think it's called this place doesn't need a name or something like that um but it looks really nice on instagram i'm gonna create a little guide for you on my instagram as well so make sure you have a look over there if you're interested in some Riga recommendations this is what the streets look like and honestly it's very cold we've got loads of layers on but not too cold just our fingertips so i'm gonna have to wear my mittens tomorrow <laughs> We just got our food and we both went for this like brioche with avocado and mozzarella and tomatoes and everything. It looks absolutely delicious. The place here is really, really lovely too. I would definitely recommend coming if you're here. It looks so nice. like not much at all but it's like you know that like fake rain that just keeps coming down and then you don't notice how soggy you are and then all of a sudden you're just like soaking wet that that's the rain so we're just walking to a museum and just come across a square but emily's convinced it's dome square <laughs> i don't know if that's right though. well yeah exactly it's somewhere called dome square and it kind of looked like this it's really cool. It does remind me a lot of like Bavaria and Budapest, but I think a lot of like Eastern European countries, obviously this is much further east. So our like starters arrived and they gave us a like, nice complimentary bread. Very lush. Just having some mozzarella and pesto with bread. Oh. You know when you're drunk, so we were going to get the type of you just said like, I don't think type of like, fulfill me the way that like, really calm like, margarita and bruschetta and bread is going to. We feel so tipsy. I mean, we felt like we like four hours each and they were strong, they were so tasty. But this is a really nice place, I must admit. It's quite expensive, but it's nice. It's snowing the tiniest bit, <laughs> but it's mainly rain. But it's pretty. <laughs> It's the next day now and we have come to this market that was recommended to us. We've literally been here two seconds. We've already had about 17 tasters of this gorgeous like, in English it's called quince, but it's like this like yellowy apple fruit, I think. It's so tasty. And they have a like street food market on top as well. So we're gonna get some food, but we're just looking down the market currently, but it's so nice. upstairs and we've just been around all the food stores that are like all the way around there we have chosen some things to have as like our breakfast and lunch there wasn't many like latvian vegetarian options so we've just gone for like went for some spring rolls and then i think we went for a pancake with some maple syrup and then we're just going to go back out and see if there's anything else we want and i've just got a kombucha and emily got a cappuccino just coming back with the goods this looks so tasty yeah. I know. 
proper artwork on that. other side of like the Riga city centre and we're just up because we're walking past some parks which I mean there we go we're just walking past some parks so we thought we would take some photos so last we saw we were at the um, market which is really nice This one, I think it's like almond with chocolate. Got a kombucha as well. Oh my gosh, don't they look amazing. <laughs> Yesterday, we, I can't remember what I last showed you, but we did a bit of shopping. We went to a KGB museum as well, which was really interesting. And the plan today is to go to the occupation of Riga Museum. Um, and that's about like the wars and then the Soviet Union after that. Then we want to go to the markets on the river, which are like the most, what did you say they were? The biggest the market? The largest market, the outdoor markets in um, Europe. In Europe. Yeah, so they're like these huge domes by the river, and Emily thinks they're the largest markets in Europe. Or what? At least one of them. One of, one of. <laughs> but it looks really exciting. So we're going to do that as well. And then tonight I think we're going to go to a rooftop bar where kind of like look over the entirety of Rico, which is exciting. What do you think it is? I can't figure it out. Like it's obviously chocolate. Mm. I know. I don't think it's Nutella. No. It's like milk chocolate. Maybe. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> We've just taken some cute pics together and we are walking through the park to go to the museum and look at how pretty it looks and like all the little river has frozen over it's just it's so pretty here there's like enough snow it hasn't snowed while we've been here but like on the grass and everything the snow has stayed it is unbelievably cold though. I think it's minus four right now and I've got like mittens I've got so many layers on and our snow boots but it is so cold we're just walking past the freedom monument here also look these are the pigeons are they pigeons or are they crows look they're bizarre looking they are terrifying they're absolutely huge as well so that's the Freedom Monument in the square there. We finished off at the museum, which is very good. I very much recommend as well. It's only five euros, so it's definitely worth the time. It was very long though, and there was like some areas were like blue lit, or some areas, and some areas were like red lit, and it was just it was a bit weird. I couldn't probably see and things like that, and it was very long, but. It was definitely something I would recommend going to. And now we, like I was saying earlier, we just walked to the um, indoor market. And like, look at the roof. There's four of these huge markets. Emily just had some like Latvian mushroom pie thing. It's really good. And I'm getting some dumplings from there. 
but it's just really really cool it is a bit annoying though because there's not many vegetarian options so if we wanted to have like actual Latvian food it always has meat in it which is a bit annoying but it's okay we were just walking to the coffee shop and we saw this huge monument on the side of the building and basically we were learning about it earlier i don't know exactly what each like flag or symbol means but it's basically about the 1991 preservation of independence in latvia so basically there was huge crowds so they gathered to like protect the yeah the independence from the soviet union they gathered at each like important monument Final night here, and one of the recommendations that we wanted to do because we did it in Budapest was go to a sky bar, and we've just got here and it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you can see our reflections in the window, but it's so nice at night because you can see literally the entirety of Budapest, like of Budapest, of Riga, and it looks so beautiful. And we're just getting some drinks, and it's a really nice atmosphere up here. We're going to go for food somewhere else afterwards because it's very expensive here. I mean the drinks are like 10 euros a cocktail which we're not quite going to have But the food we're going to go for afterwards is like another really good recommendation. But amazing views too so we're really excited. So our drinks have just arrived and we went for a mojito and I went for something called a Lego spritz which is like Aperol spritz, um, raspberry white wine, something else I think. I don't know, it sounded nice on the menu. Oops. So this is the place I was telling you about and it's called South, like that and we just had some chips and we just ordered some sushi and we've got pizza on the way as well but it looks so tasty and there's so much pickled ginger as well. Mm -hmm. of St Peter's Church to look at the view across Rico and it's like a 360 view. Emily's terrified, she can't go, she can't go any further. <laughs> but it's absolutely amazing. It was seven euros with a student card to get up here. Look, so they they are the market spread yesterday. And then there is the bridge going across the river. It's a little bit foggy today, but it still looks really cool and it snowed a little bit last night as well. You can see all the snow on the rooftops and everything. It's so cool. It's definitely something I would recommend doing if you come here. Like bao buns, sushi, miso soup, gyozas. What is it that you've got? Like a bowl um, it's of like stuff. a yeah. I think it's a bit like a donkey. Yeah. Bowl, like rice and But it's so nice, and there were so many different options. But it's really, really sweet in here.
just kill